boys and girls, it's Miss Janet and Miss Kim again, and we are ready to continue our talk about thankfulness. We've done that the last two lessons, and we're going to continue again today. So let's close our eyes and bow our heads and say a prayer together. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us together again today to talk about you and why we are thankful about so many things. Thank you for this opportunity. We love you. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, let's start today with a little book. It's very quick, and then we're going to do a fun activity. The name of this book is One, Two, Threes of Thankfulness. So this might give you some ideas. So listen and look really carefully so that you um, might get some ideas about what you want to do with this activity we're going to share with you in just a minute. Okay? So the One, Two, Threes of Thankfulness. Number one. One little thank you can go a long way. And one thank you kiss can make somebody's day. What comes after one? Two. Two strong arms to hug a friend so tight. And two sparkling eyes are the precious gift of sight. And after two, three cheers for friends and everything they do sailing on adventures we see the world anew and four pretty flowers show up to thanks to you four dainty butterflies make us grateful too five shining apples so mm, juicy and sweet Five special thank yous for all the food we eat. And after five comes, six tiny seedlings are planted in a row. Remember to be thankful when they start to grow. Seven rainbow colors make our world so bright. Thank you for the colors on a soaring kite. Eight special friends will always stick together. Appreciate friendship no matter what the weather. And nine chirping birds flap their feathered wings. Nine heartfelt thank yous for the songs they sing. And bringing us up to ten, ten twinkling stars glaring with light, remind us to be thankful every day as we say good night. Okay, I hope you saw some things that you could be thankful for. So let's talk a little bit about um, what we were talking about last two lessons on thankfulness. We're going to start with a, a scripture from our Bible, and it's 2 Chronicles 20, 21. Give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. Have you ever had a problem bigger than you? Have you ever felt helpless or hopeless and like you couldn't fix it no matter how hard you tried? Sometimes life isn't always easy. Sometimes family members get sick. Sometimes people we love go away. We have bullies at school that make fun of us or make fun of a friend. Maybe our parents or our grandparents lose their job. But today we want to talk to you about what God does not want us to go through. He doesn't want us to go through hard times. He wants us to think about Him and let Him help us. Why? Because God is bigger than any problem you could ever have. Talk to God and ask Him to live in your heart. Trust God. He's going to help you. Whenever you have a problem, remember to pray about it. Maybe talk to your mom or your grandparent or a grown-up you trust. But always remember to have a heart full of thanks. Thank God for as many things as you can think of because there are so many things we have to be thankful for. Let's have some fun. Let's make a thankful praise shaker. I'll show you mine and then you can make yours at home. Now mine's not very good, so don't <laughs> laugh at mine. I won't laugh at yours. But what we need is we need two paper plates. One, two, and maybe some beans or some dried cereal. Since my favorite thing are M&Ms, that's what I'm gonna use. And I put them inside 
the paper plates and you're going to either use tape or staple and staple it together. So then you have a shaker. But on the outside of the paper plates, if you'll get a grown-up or mom or dad or grandparent to help you, we'll write our scripture, that we, our Bible lesson that we talked about today. Give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. Remember, it's 2 Chronicles 20, 21. Have your mom or dad or grown-up help you write the verse on one side of the paper plate. Now think about all the things that you're grateful for. Remember some of the things in the book if you can't think of them. Remember kisses, hugs, flowers, friends, butterflies, stars. Oh, I am thankful for apples and rainbows and gardens and rain and sunshine, friendship, birds, and songs. So that's mine. But what you could do is find pictures in a magazine or in the newspaper, or you could even draw your pictures whatever you want to do. And then when you remember, remember the song that we learned last time? You could play that song and use your shaker. Or you could just go around the house being happy shaking your big place. Okay? So, um, now think about all the things you're thankful for and after you've decorated your plate, share them. Hope you're having fun shaking your praise or thankful shakers to any song, especially the one that we learned together, a gift to you. Okay, before we go, we're going to say a little prayer, and then we'll see you next time. Bow your heads. Let's pray. Thank you, God, for our godly play friends. Help us all to see the things that you give us to be thankful for. We love you, dear God. Amen.